My name is Dr. Jim Kravick. I'm the Chief Clinical Officer here at Mercy Health Youngstown. I'm also an internal medicine physician and I've worked with uh, the Oregon Procurement Organization in Northeast Ohio for many years. I'm proud to be a part of the administration of Mercy Health Youngstown where we have been uh, the number one hospital in Northeast Ohio for organ donors each of the last two years. So as I think through what my role is as a leader of the uh, physicians and as a Chief Clinical Officer here at Mercy Health, the main thing is I focus on, on our policy and making sure that we do what is exactly required by the organ procurement organization within our region and realizing that in call in involves uh, knowing what the criteria are uh, and when patients are at the point of imminent death and also timely notification because by focusing in on those we can get the experts in uh, to meet with the patients meet with the families and make sure that we do the right things to have a higher chance of having organs uh, organs donated I think one of the most important areas where we need to focus on as a medical administration and also working with the physicians and the nurses in our hospitals is realizing the timely notification for patients for organ procurement and donation. Um, the earlier the better that we can have our staff notify you know, the OPO, the better. It's really the experts in that field that we want working with our families and just having these difficult discussions. As we think about medical suitability, um, what we think of that is not what the nurses or doctors in the ICU think is suitable for organ donation, but truly what the experts in organ procurement, what they think, what the criteria are, and really getting them involved earlier so the family has the best chance of having those organs donated. Also important is maintaining the donors and their uh, functioning of their organs, maintaining vital signs, a very, very important part. Um, of the organ donation process and you need the entire ICU team on, uh, on board because the physicians, the nurses, and the staff have to understand that we are still protecting the organs for these donors um, and it really is an educational process that we have to do so as an administrator we continue education for the ICU teams, the ICU physicians to focus in on maintaining the donors and their organs. As far as the request, this is another area where I think we, uh, our organization has done a very good job, is really focusing in saying that the people that should be asking and making the request for the organs should not be the ICU staff or the ICU physicians, but it should be someone specially trained in organ procurement. And so that's a very, very important part of this process is having um, the specialists involved in this process very early and having them as the ones doing the asking of the families and meeting with the families. As we continue through this process, Mercy Health is, is focused on following and promoting the CMS guidelines for this because we find it is very important. And I would encourage other administrations of hospitals to really work with your, your OPO to make sure that this is an important part for you as well.